Hey everybody, this is Root Beer Roundup, and today we are going to be trying two different types of root beer. Dad's Old Fashioned Root Beer, and I know it's backwards, something's wrong with the computer thing. Um, and Frosty's Root Beer. Let's see how it takes, and which one takes the crown and glory. Alright, so we've been talking about doing a root beer uh, tasting blog for quite some time. Well, when I say quite some time, really it's been like two weeks. But we're excited to be able to start this, and, and uh, we'll see where it goes. This is, this is our first episode, so we're going to work out the kinks later. Like Emily said, uh, the mirroring on our camera is on, and so the labels are backwards. So just imagine that it's switched around. Okay, so what we're going to do... Hope you can read backwards. Hope you can read backwards. What we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to... Um, uh, we're going to try these root beers. And we're going to talk about it, and and then hopefully by the end of the episode, we can decide on which one we like the best. Um, one of the things that I was going to mention is that um, Frosty, uh, we we both tried this the other day, and uh, we, we got it good. at... Yeah, yeah, we, we really liked it. Um, but uh, Dad's Root Beer, I've never had it. I don't <laughs> think Emily has either. Uh, now, we, we see it... Um, we see it, uh, all the time at different stores and different places. We got these, uh, glass bottle dads at Atwoods in, uh, Web City. So, uh, we've never had, uh, dad's root beer before. So we're going to see how this goes. Are you ready? Which one do you want to go with first? Mm, let's do dad's since let's we haven't tried it yet. Let's do dad's since we haven't tried it yet. Dad's old fashioned root beer. Dad's old fashioned root beer in a glass bottle. We like glass bottles. Glass bottles are fun to drink out of. Okay. Smells good. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? Tickles my nose. <laughs> First thoughts. Very fizzy. I like it. It has a different taste than normal root beer. Okay. Almost like an earthy taste. Let me try it again. What do you think? Uh, I, I think you can definitely taste the vanilla in it. And, I mean, it's good. I like it. It's not quite as carbonated as what I thought it would be. Um, but, uh, but, I mean, it's good. It says here that it is made with uh, cane sugar. A lot, of, uh, a lot of root beers and a lot of other sodas these days are made with um, high fructose corn syrup, with the exception of, like, uh, the glass bottle cokes and and you know sometimes you can find real sugar sodas but um anymore a lot of these are made with uh high fructose corn syrup but mm -hmm. this this one is made with real cane sugar yeah like this one says hmm it's pure cane sugar too this one's pure cane sugar too mm, both are pure cane sugar so so my uh, my assessment of dad's root beer is you can taste the vanilla but it's a subtle flavor um, it, it's not, it's not overly strong. To me, it's actually kind of the opposite. It, it, to me, it tastes, um, really strong of a, um, flavor I can't really pin, like, pin. Okay. Like, can, well. yeah, like, the only thing I can go off of is your guess of vanilla, so... Okay, well, we're gonna, we have cups of water here to cleanse our palate, so that we're not uh, judging uh, our second drink based on the aftertaste of the first. But here is... It sounds like a train track. Here's Frosty Root Beer. Ready? Kink. Clink. Wow, that one's really, to me, the taste is almost very similar. I have root beer on my lip. I did too. <laughs> the taste is really close. What do you think? Mm -hmm. But I like it because it's not as strong as dad's root beer. It, it has... Not my dad, but somebody else's dad. So, so you can still taste the vanilla. Uh, it seems like Frosty almost has a little bit of a, uh, a fruity 
flavor almost. Um, now, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you what it is, but it has uh, just a little bit more uh, sweetness and w without being overpowering. Yeah, I like it because um, I found that Burks is super strong, not very, not very sweet. Sorry. Whereas um, Mugs is kind of almost the same. This is a nice mixture between fizzy, not too sweet, but still sweet. You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah. Um, so root beer, uh, I mean, obviously it could be used for, uh, you know, just sitting and enjoying a cold root beer. Or it can also be uh, used for, um, you know, making floats. Where are you going? I do my face. You can also use uh, root beer for making ice cream floats. And I think... I um, especially like purple cow float with grape soda and vanilla ice cream. But it is good, isn't it? We're talking about root beer today, though. <laughs> so I think uh, because, because, like I said, um, I feel like Frosty is a little bit sweeter. I feel like um dad's is a little bit more subtle in flavor i feel like dad's would be really good for ice cream floats for root beer floats okay Whereas, i can see that because ice cream will bring a more sweetness absolutely and then and creaminess. i almost i almost feel like frosty would be too much to put into a ice cream float and instead uh frosty would be good enjoyed with uh dinner or by itself you can never have too much sugar, Dad. <laughs> All right. So my verdict, because I don't do a whole lot of root beer floats, my verdict is Frosty is the winner. Me too. And Emily too. So we are going to sit and enjoy our nice ice cold bottles of Frosty root beer. Thanks for uh, joining us for our first episode of... Uh, the root beer roundup and Emily is loving this new uh, what do you call this a vlog I think we'll call this don't we're gonna call this a vlog <laughs> yeah a root beer yeah, vlog so we're gonna sit and enjoy our bottles of frosty this thanks a lot everybody this is the crowning glory this is the winner 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 chicken dinner <laughs>